I messed up big time. We're Steph and Micah, and we're converting this 2003 ambulance into a camper. This week, we're building out the kitchen, the floors, and everything in between. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on this epic adventure, because we're filming it all just for you. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to ask questions. <laughs> Today, we're going to try and do the floors. It is like 3.30 in the afternoon, so I don't know how far we'll get. This morning, we were working on our YouTube video. <laughs> but hopefully, floors are pretty easy to put in, so I always say that. But it's true. So we're hopeful that we'll be able to do maybe like half or something today. We'll see. My kid just went to get this from our friend's house. You let me borrow it. Thank you, Luke. I'm just trying to figure out how it works. Got it. Okay, how much of the floor do you think we'll get done today? Uh, 100%. Uh-uh. It goes pretty fast. Time me. It's really cold, so extra layers today. I got a job for you. Um, I need some of those shims, please. How many? How many, how many, how many, how many? Thank you. Okay, it's going really well. So far. We've been in it for 10 minutes and he's already on his second row. But look at this color. This piece goes right there. But I'm gonna try to get all of this gooey stuff off of it. When you're doing laminated floors, you want to make sure that you're you like mixing and matching them so the same patterns are not next to each other. Because we didn't do that in the tiny house and we have like this one pattern that's like in the same spot like three times. What <laughs> There's like this slight bump right there. So we need to fix that. Put like a bunch of sealant right here, and, which good on you, but it's messing me up. Hey. <laughs> yeah, we're done for today. Nice. Look how good this looks, though. I love the color. So we haven't finished this part in this part, but it's. I almost finished today. We've only been working for two and a half hours, and look at that. It's pretty good. I mean, it's easy. If everything was this easy and satisfying, it would be so much fun to build this thing. Not that it's not fun. I'm having a great time. <laughs> it's just, this is just satisfying. See you next time. Good day everyone. I stopped filming because I was just in the zone. While I stopped filming, what I got done was this, 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 that, and this. Look at that floor. Even this little trim piece is done. It was a good idea to save that from the parts on the ambulance, wasn't that bad? Oh, this is a good boy. It's a good boy. So we got advice from a lot of people to not use wood filler and to do batten or try painter's caulk 
or Bondo. The stuff did a wood filler, like one layer, and she sanded it down and it started to crack. But let me see if I can try my hand at doing the wood filler and then we'll lightly sand it and see how it turns out. shelf and I just cut that piece look at that that's pretty good but there's not really many screwing points so I think I'm gonna have to try and glue it and hold it in with trim pieces I got a heater! Oh, just in time for it to get cold. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. I've now built out both sides. Sorry guys, I've just been really bad at filming myself lately. But, you gotta check it out. I just put down some outdoor carpet around these boxes. Pretty good. I'm gonna fix that a little bit. It kinda of looks ugly, but that box looks great. Great job, Mecca. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's chilly guys. Okay, we haven't worked in the ambulance on the ambulance for like four days. A lot of things have happened since the last video. We had to fix some issues like pipe freezing in the the tiny house. And then I've been working, Mike has been editing, but now we have all day and tomorrow. What's the plan for today? To build this cabinet, then we're going to start building these bench seats and we'll start seeing the layout. It looks, oh, okay. I was going to say it looks crooked. It's not straight. The window is spot on from the outside. That's as like close as it's gonna get. Maybe our food is gonna be rolling on our counter. It's a sixteenth off, okay? It's very chilly outside. Like inspecting my work. Is it good? Yeah, I think it'll work. Whoa, look at that. It's looking so good. Yeah. Okay, now, and then we were a little bit arguing <laughs> about arguing. this section because we Debating. thought, arguing. We thought we had enough space to do like an L shape, but I don't think we will. I don't think we will. Micah thinks we will. We'll see. What's up, everybody? This is my brother here, Elliot. Some of you may know him as Elliot McWhorter. He's on YouTube. <laughs> he was kind enough to lend us some nice tools, including this nailer. We'll link that down below. We'll link it down below. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh, oh. Finished product. Now what? Now this bench seat. Yeah, fairly deep seat. This is with a cushion? Well, well, how tall is your table gonna be? No, it'll be that height. Are we recording? The table height is higher than what we were planning for, like uh -huh. standard table height. The other dilemma is we don't want it too high because then you can't sit up straight in bed. And you'll hit your head. And you'll hit your head. Week 13 issues. Put a hole in the side of the mattress that the table no. slides out. What is 
this one? It's 15. 15. Or 14 and a half. It's 15 at decent height. I mean, I, I'm i fine. I'm short. That'll work. Finally found the magic number. 15. And you're going to make a matching one over here? Yes. That's what we're doing next. <laughs> Lots of thinking in between. That's 90% of what this is. That's okay, though. Yeah. I think a lot of people are afraid to do something they don't know how to do. You just gotta take your time to do it right. Some people gotta take more time than others, and I am one of those people. So, see, that's so a it's nice. So it's gonna be like an inch higher. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's fine. I mean, we're small people. I think for a, a tall person, it would be very uncomfortable. Like me. You're not that tall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Micah, what are we doing? We are mounting this board to the wall because I said so. We're framing out the bed. Steph, what are you working on? I'm supervising. <laughs> Hello. Craig, Jig. Excellent job. Wait, did you Please. correct your both sides of that? I'm filming. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to ask questions. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? There's too many people in this area. If you don't know about Craig Jig, then you should. And I'll link it down in the description below. <laughs> it's Micah's favorite tool? My favorite, favorite tool. tool. Craig Jig. So, look at this. We made part of a bed. We're still not sure what we're doing. It's still a little up in the air, but that's okay. We're gonna call it a day, and Elliot's gonna get out of here. <laughs> Elliot can't stand. <laughs> <laughs> he can't stand it. I can't that. stand up in the air. <laughs> Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Bye. See you guys. See ya. Good night, y'all. <laughs> you just like shoved the camera in my face. I don't know what to say. See you tomorrow. Shall we work, Micah? No. <laughs> His nose. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh, he's not oh, stuck. You're not stuck. He just likes to be there. So I posted on Instagram over a week ago how to patch up the seams on the walls because they crack. Thank you for everyone who answered. We actually had got a lot of responses. Micah wants to try this thing, which is, what is it? It's epoxy putty. It's this. I have this, so I'm gonna try it. it. Says you're supposed to cut what you need and then mix it. You wanna do this for the whole thing? I don't think that's gonna work. I think it's also old, so maybe it's... Mm doesn't look like it's working. Bust! I messed up big time. Yeah. I was starting to build this uh, bench seat right here, and I had this piece ready to go, and not thinking, I just drilled it straight into the floor. I pierced the pipes that I ran. So if you remember, there's these two pipes like that that are running all the way over there for the future shower, and Micah just forgot, but then he built this last week, right? Yeah. And then he was like, oh shoot, did I drill it in the pecs with these holes? And he yes. did. The red one is fine. The blue one is pierced. Now I was able to test that by blowing in it and seeing which one the air came out of because they're capped on that side. Well, let's label that as leaking. Okay. Mental note, video note, physical note. So this is going to be our trash can, and this is going to be a shoe storage. Sweetheart. Look at that. Is this going to be your side, or is it going to be my side? I think this is going to be your side. Really? Yeah, because I'm sure once we pull that table out and sit down and you can't get out, you're going to be like, oh, I want the other seat. Oh, I didn't think about that. You thought about that? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think this side too, you're gonna be blocked in a little, but it's okay. These are the measurements that we just took. Now we're gonna cut them. Wow. 
This thing is cool. It is cool. I want one. Wow. We need to figure out how to do the cabinets. We need to buy the fridge to know the exact dimensions and how it's gonna work over here. And then we have to buy the countertop. So when we buy the fridge and the countertop, then we can like do the pantry area. Then we have to do the bathroom area right here. Rivet this hole down here, insulate it, and then put plywood, three quarter inch plywood for the top of this. And then we'll do like panel hinges like that. We have to go to Home Depot, buy, a lot of supplies for us to continue and then like order things online so we might call it a day but i'm wondering if i can just stick my jigsaw in there wow. it's always raining why? 